Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of the Dirt to Daytona career mode series. First off, we have a hurricane coming. I will put a couple pictures up on the screen. I don't think it's going to hit our area too bad, but just in case, I think I'm going to pre-record next week's episode as well because we are expected to lose power at least for a few days. So yeah, and with that out of the way, let's hop into the calendar and see where we're headed today. So we will be starting the month of October and we're headed to Talladega. I just watched yesterday's Talladega race. Great win by Ricky Stenhouse. I think it was like 28 cars in that one wreck. That was wild. This game, everybody seems allergic to pack racing at super speedways, but let's see what we can do. All right, Jimmy. Far I don't high. care that you're not real, Jimmy. Clear high. I still hate you. So our previous best lap was a 50.204. I do believe we have upgraded the car a little bit since then. So I'm hoping in the draft we can better that a little bit, but you never know with these races, especially with how strung out it gets. Also, I did not turn left that hard. Interesting. This car seems pretty loose. And pretty slow. Even with draft, Tony just drives right away. We definitely have aero damage, which isn't helping, but still, this is pitiful. So we ran a 51-52 by ourselves. So I would hope with some draft help we can get a little faster, but like we're topping out in the 180s. Carlo. Yeah, that All clear. that's All your high. fault, Rusty. There's a spin in turn two. Yeah, there is. I think I'm gonna work on the gearing a little bit Stay because high. Still there. All clear. we are slow, and we need to be less slow. So I went pretty big on the gearing change. I am interested to see if I did a good job or not. I obviously do not have the takeoff speed that some of these guys have, but we will see if I have a good top speed. I'm not super happy with the car, but I'm gonna go ahead and qualify, see what happens and then uh go from there okay we won't be last that's a plus go, 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 go. counting the get up to speed lap as an actual lap is just diabolical like why just start me past the finish line and make it one lap Hopefully we've got some good speed as we get to the line. And then we're gonna hug the yellow line for our real lap. This is the one that counts. I'll try to hug the yellow line anyways. Much better. I will say the only time I really miss the wheel is running these super speedways because trying to turn the joystick like a quarter turn is just right, a pain. <laughs> I know we're slower than Tony Stewart. Let's see who else we're slower than. 
Ooh, 49.5 from Ward Burton. Good for him. All right, 18th place. Um, other than maybe tightening up the car, I don't think there's a whole lot I can do. So I'm going to add a little bit of wedge and uh, hope for the best. I'm Alan Bestwick. Welcome to the world's fastest speedway, Talladega Super Speedway in Alabama. Talladega is the biggest, fastest, and most competitive motorsports facility in the world. Speed says it all about this place. This record-breaking two and two-thirds mile trioval keeps drivers glued to earth by virtue of 33 degree banking. Freight trains of stock cars in the draft literally caused the earth to rumble in Alabama. Thanks, Alan. It's set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. Car low. Clear low. So, since I changed the gearing, we started in second instead of uh, first like everybody else. Which uh, I think helped us a little bit. But once we really get going, I'm sure we're going to find out that we are slow. And it looks like we have enough fuel to stop once and be fine. Um, the problem is I forgot to practice pitting. So there's a good chance that if we have to make a green flag stop, we will crash and burn. Also, even with tightening up the car a little bit, it still feels not great. <laughs> Yeah, that, that got real, real loose in the back as I went into the corner. Not a fan of that, not one bit. Please push me forward. I would like to pass people. Looks like the front guys are already starting to kind of fan out a little bit. Ricky, don't try to pass me on the outside. Car high. Okay, Ricky, go ahead and pass me on the outside. Rude. Looks like we've definitely broken away from the guys behind us just a little bit. And now that I'm next to Planey, I am going to be very slow and slot in behind him. Don't slide. Don't slide. Watch out, you're leaking brake fluid. Cool. Our brakes failed. Thankfully this isn't a road course or anything, but uh it's gonna be real fun trying to pit under green, I think. If I can stay latched on, which it looks like I'm not going to be able to do, but if I can stay latched on to Dave Blaney, I don't think we will fall back to the guys behind us, but uh, he's starting to pull me a little bit. Unfortunately, I think that little slide I had really lost some of my momentum. Yeah, Skinner's already catching me a little bit. <laughs> 20 to go. So yeah, this is, uh, I think, when it's going to get pretty boring. I'm going to get passed one by one by people behind me that are faster. And... Uh, yeah. 
So what's the question of the day? What's your favorite item at Taco Bell? I really like Taco Bell. I used to live really close to one and would go all the time. Now the one that's near us isn't super close, but it's close enough that when I'm craving it, I'll go. I think my wife and... The engine's blown. That's not great. Mad. Oh, man. Pace car's out. Thanks, Pace car. Oh, we can't even get rolling. Well, I was going to say my wife and I's favorite item is the beefy five layer burrito. And then we just take the beans off of it. So it's just like beef and cheese and sour cream and rice. Pretty good. I'm a big fan. Oh, we're not going to be able to drive up the bank, are we? Oh, I think our race is over, boys. So yeah, um, while I try to get moving again, tell me your favorite Taco Bell item in the comments below. Or if you hate Taco Bell, tell me why you hate Taco Bell. Okay, it only took a minute or so, but I do have the car rolling. Unfortunately, it is, uh, it's not a very nice ride and we have a lot of damage the yellow's out wasn't the yellow out like five minutes ago tj what have you i'm having fun oh we're starting to pick up some speed come on can we hit 30. can we get 30. Oh, we hit 29. Yeah, we got 30 miles an hour. Let's go. Good thing this isn't the new cup car or I wouldn't be able to move because the tires would have been flat. Oh, is somebody going to come push me? Oh, no. <laughs> the pace car. Oh, come on. Push me. Push me straight. Don't push me sideways. Dave. Car low. Car high. There's a wreck in turn two. Come on. Keep pushing me. We got up to... Ooh, we hit 60. Let's go. We're getting back to the pits one day, kids. Car high. Car high. Clear high. Car high. Clear high. The 77 car is headed into the pit. We are too. We'll get there one day. All right, um, yeah, we'll be here a minute. Woo. Well, friends, we're getting close to, uh, the repairs being done. Looks like everybody else already finished racing, but, uh, by golly, we are going to leave the pits with an unbroken engine and at least complete the lap we're on. <laughs> All right, let's go. We'll get him next time. We'll get him next time. Hey, if Kurt Busch got 43rd, that means we must have got 42nd, right? 
So did not closing out <laughs> gain me one position? Let's go. Well, that wasn't exactly the uh, most eventful race for us. 18 laps down and 42nd, but we did gain three points by uh, by getting around Kurt Busch, so at least we have that silver lining, I guess. On the not so bright side though, we did lose $40,000, so yeah, that's, uh, that's not great. <laughs> So, unfortunately, that finish does drop us back to 25th in the points. I feel like we had done such a good job of making up some ground on Skinner and Wallace, and then it all gets thrown away just like that. Well, friends, that's going to do it for another episode. Unfortunately, the Talladega race went about how normal Talladega races go, and I... I'm going to have to watch that back to see why I crashed, but it kind of felt like I just got loose in the trioval and uh, hit the wall a ton. So uh, I'm going to go take an ice bath, try to get rid of that soreness, and uh, we'll be back next week. So as always, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, comment if you've got anything to say, and subscribe if you're not. Hope I catch you in the next one. See ya.